Hello, today I'm starting a new series where I will create Minecraft in one week with Unity. Each episode will represent one day of development. Let's get started. So the first thing I did was creating a new Unity project. Once I was inside Unity, I quickly realized I have no idea what I'm doing. So I did the only thing there was to do, googling how to create Minecraft. And after reading 20 pages on how it's done, I knew what the next step was. Pearly noise. Pearly noise in 2D can be seen as a height map. It creates random smooth transitions, which is perfect for a Minecraft world. So I started off simple, by creating a single cube. And just like that, we have the first cube. Now we need to create a whole world of them. After this, I created a simple 100 by 100 map of cubes. Now it's time to add the pearly noise. And it worked perfectly the first try. And after almost pulling out all my hair, I went back to my old friend Google. And quickly realized I'm an idiot. So now that the pearly noise works, I need to make the whole world look like Minecraft. The Y position of the blocks needs to be a whole number and not as smooth as it is now. And this is simple. Just round off the number of the Y position to an integer. Perfect. Apparently you actually have to have your parentheses on the right spot. Now it's actually starting to take shape and look like a Minecraft world. Now it's time to add some texture to the blocks. I realized here that the way I've implemented the blocks will make it harder to add texture in the correct way. This is because I need to have different textures on different faces of the block. For example, on the grass block I need to have grass on the top and dirt on the sides. So for now it's gonna have to look like this. Now it's time to add a player. I added a simple character with gravity that can walk around in the new world. And after a hardcore coding session, this is the result. And something's not right. There we go. Let's actually make the character rotate as well. And done. Or at least that's what I thought. And done. For real this time. So what's left? Mining of course. The next thing I will implement is to remove and add blocks. And this too is limited due to the way the blocks are implemented. So for now I will only prototype it. So how will I implement mining? With the help of ray casting. Ray casting is actually pretty simple. After you've been going for five hours. So how does it work? It's simple. If my ray cast hits a block, I can either delete the block or place a block facing the side of that block. After another hardcore coding session that actually looked more like this, the prototype mining system was finally done. And that concludes the first day of development. In the next video I will refine the block system, add texture the correct way and look into optimization. Don't forget to follow and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you for watching. Bye.